Thousands have signed a petition in memory of a local transgender teen who committed suicide. It would ban a controversial therapy that claims to treat gender identity disorder. Leela Alcorn stepped in front of a tractor trailer on I-71 last weekend. There's a candlelight vigil tonight in her memory. Local 12's Brad Underwood joins us from Kings Mills with more. Brad. Well, good evening, Curtis. Uh, the vigil has been going on for about 20 minutes, so organizers say that it is time for everyone, regardless of sexual orientation, to stand up and remember Leela, the 17-year-old, uh, and to continue this conversation when it comes to uh, ending the discrimination and the movement to end that discrimination of transgender people. And you can see out here in front of the uh, high school here, King's High School, hundreds are out here. The rain has held off for tonight. Uh, as they remember Leela with this vigil, some of these people here tonight call themselves friends of Leela's, others just wanting to be a part of the movement to change what they say the way society views people who face challenges of gender identity. Now, many here are also pushing to bring a center to the tri-state specifically aimed at the needs of the LGBT community as well as LGBT teens and providing 24-7 help when it comes to uh, issues facing discrimination. Now, before her death, Leela did write a suicide note and she posted it on her blog on the internet in it saying that she felt like a girl trapped in a boy's body and that her life wasn't worth living because she was transgender. Coming up tonight at uh, 10 and 11, you're going to hear from some of the people uh, who are in these support groups who are here tonight as well as folks who came out uh, total strangers just wanting to be a part of this movement. Reporting live at Kings Mills High School, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. Curtis. Brad, thank you. More than 250,000 people have signed a petition on change.org calling for a ban on transgender conversion therapy.